Barbara from Photo SA. Today I'm going to introduce you our machine VP3030 Mini, which is mainly used to transfer pictures on phone covers, iPad covers, small plates, and also small flat products like the carton ball. The first step, unpacking, take the machine out. This machine is made up of three parts, the body, which is an oven, the vacuum pump, together with the remote control. When we open the body, this oven, we will find the instruction, both in Chinese and English. A pair of gloves, together with a tool, and also the handles together with the screws. Next step, we're going to install the handles. Now we're installing the handle. Use this screw. And then use the screw, turn screw to stabilize it. It works the same to install the upper handle. After installing both the handles, we have to do the inspection for this machine before we turn down it. The first step of uh, the inspection is to take the vacuum pump out. We just need to lift this vacuum pump a little bit and then it's very easy to take it out. As you can see, there are three lines. This line is for the vacuum pump, this is a control line, and this is a power line. We need to make sure they connect well. Then after the inspection, we first put those lines carefully back to a slot at the back and then put the vacuum pump back and then it's done. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer a picture like this on a blank phone cover and make it like this. The tools I need is a mold. This is an iPhone 4 mold because this phone cover is an iPhone 4 a cooling tool and also a pair of gloves because while the machine is operating the temperature can be very high we need to wear this pair of thick gloves to protect ourselves the first step is to plug in then let's look at the remote control it's made of three parts the screen for temperature and time the lights for heat, standby, and turn, together with the five buttons. This is to turn on the machine, this is to turn off, this is a plus, this is a minus. This can also be used to turn on the vacuum. This can also be used to turn off the vacuum. The set is to set the temperature and turn. Now, we turn on the machine, press on. This represents the temperature of the machine right now and we press set for a long time unless it's a flashing like right now and then we can press plus to add the temperature or minus to decrease the temperature. For a phone cover, we need to set the temperature at 200 centigrade and then press set for another long time. This is F1. We we'll press this to increase the time, this to decrease the time. For a phone cover, we need to set it at 300 seconds. And then press another time. This is F2. It represents the working time for the vacuum pump. Press another time. F3 represents the resting time for the vacuum pump. Both F2 and F3 
are settled in a factory, so there is no need to reset them again. Now the machine is preheating. While the machine is preheating, we need to put the bolt inside the machine to preheat together. Before I have to put on the pair of gloves, this is a double layer pair of gloves because the temperature is very high inside. So put on the pair of gloves and then put the bolt inside the machine and close the lid to bring it together. Uh, while the temperature increases to 200 centigrade, like we said before, there will be a bin sound. And after that sound, we still need to wait half an hour to do the phone cover. While the machine is preheating, we can do some proportionary work. And wrap the paper around the blank phone cover. We need to be careful to wrap the edges as well. Four edges. And then we use this high temperature resistant tape to stabilize the paper with the blank front cover on both sides. After the preheating is done, we need to open the lid, take out this mold, and then put this blank foam cover with the wrapped paper on the mold and then put inside the machine. Close the film. And then turn down the vacuum. Try to smooth the edges of the phone cover as well, because you want the picture to transfer perfectly on the edges. And then we close the lid to wait until it's ready. This beep sound means the phone cover has been done. Okay, now let's open the lid. Take out this phone cover. Take it out from the mold. And then wrap the paper, peel the paper off. After taking it out, we just need to peel off the paper. After peeling off the paper, we need to pull this phone cover in this cooling tool to make sure its shape is perfect. Once the temperature of this reduces the temperature of the room, then the phone cover is done. Finally, let's talk about some of the possible breakdowns of this machine and how to deal with them when they occur. One part of this machine which is most likely to break is the wheel over here. And the more times you use it, the more it's likely to break. When it's broken, like this, we've got to change a new film. First, take the broken film out. And then change a new one. Make sure the longer side is at the top here. Stabilize the four corners at first and then to press them into the slot. Then, a 
field is changed. The second normal breakdown of the machine is the temperature on the remote control. Uh, sometimes may appear as 3L or 3H. When this happens, it means there must be something wrong with the sensor, temperature sensor. It's over here. And the way to deal with it is to first open the lid. After taking off the lid, then we see the temperature sensor is over here. We just need to loosen the four screws over here and then change it a new one and then it's done. The third one is that the heating tubes over here sometimes may break down. When they break down, also to loosen those screws, take the broken heating tube out and then change it new one, then it's that. The last one is that if the remote control is, is broken, we also need to change a new one. We just need to unscrew this part, take it out, and then change a new one. Then it's done. So this is the introduction of the, our machine, VP3030 Mini. Should you have any other question, feel free to contact our salespeople. Thanks for your attention and have a nice day.